Hello everyone, this is PJ, the worship revivalist. So, um, after coming back from mission, I really wanted an avenue to reach out to more people, to express the gift of God upon my life, first as a worshiper before a pastor. So I'm going to be doing two things together. Every time you get my video, you will get worship and you also get the word. So that's what God wants me to bring. So I'm bringing it to you and I pray that you'll be blessed. Lord, I bless your name, your name. With a heart of thanksgiving, I will bless the old Lord. I will bless the Lord. I will bless the old Lord. And now we're going to go to the scripture, Psalm 134. Psalm 134. It says, Behold, bless the Lord, all ye servants of the Lord, who by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary and bless the Lord, the Lord who made heavens and the earth. Bless you from Zion. The Bible says that we should bless the Lord all the time. Every individual that God has created is mandated to bless the Lord, to lift your hands in the sanctuary and give him praise and give him worship. Regardless of your situation, regardless of what you're going through, when you learn to praise God, when you learn to bless the Lord, he listens and he hears you and he is willing and is, is always faithful to his word. It says, if you do that which he's asked you to do, then he'll come down and do that which you're asking him for. I believe that God is about to bless somebody today. I bring you good news to tell you that God's about to shake those things that's been shaking your arm completely in the mighty name of Jesus. He's here to complete you. He's here to showcase his love for you. He just wants you to give him a time of worship, a time of praise, a time of release and blessings to glorify the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Continue to give him praise. God bless you. This is